So the team that we use today is going to be one that features the Inteleon, the Sniper Hidden Ability Inteleon, pairing it with a oh, G-Max Machamp. Guys, remember G-Max Machamp uses that G-Max Chi Strike, and what that does is it adds a focus energy to both Machamp and the Inteleon, or whatever its teammate is. We're using it with a Quick Claw today. We're using it with a Quick Claw, and so what that's going to do is it's going to make Machamp have a 20% chance to go first over our Inteleon, which is immediately going to power up Inteleon's Hidden Ability Sniper and make it so Inteleon go for those huge, humongous one-shots. You can also see we're using the amazing Fling King's Rock Pelipper that we've used all throughout the history of this channel. We've used a ton of Fling King's Rock Pelipper in the past. Remember, if you fling a King's Rock, it's a 100% chance flinch. A lot of people like to use Sash Pelipper. A lot of people like to use Protect Pelipper. A lot of people don't even like to use Hydro Pump Pelipper. But we got the big damage from Pelipper. We have a uh, like Quash, Rain Dance, Sableye. We have dual screens like Clay Raichu. And last but not least, we have that big weakness policy dreadnought. Hopefully, you guys, you guys like this little uh, attempt at a rain team. We're going to go into the games right now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here we go. Inteleon. I want to go Raichu so bad because I know there's that Bolton back there. Raichu's so good against these. But I'm going to bring Pelipper. And I'm going to bring Dreadnought. Wait, do, I want, do I want the Dreadnought? I have to go Dreadnought. It's so good here. All right, let's go. Big Machamp energy. So remember, guys, it's Quick Claw Machamp going first 20% of the time with a Quick Claw. It's going to activate its Chi Max Strike. It's going to boost not only its critical hit ratio, but the Inteleons as well. And we're going to slam in those super, super strong crit boosted sniper hidden ability Inteleon snipe shots. It's time. Oh, dude, thank you for the game. Yeah, you played great. I think you played absolutely great. The guy I played last game. Amazing team. What are your thoughts on the new Kung Fu Bears? Uh, we don't know any of their base stats yet. As long as they don't have higher base speed than 95, they won't be too broken. Pelipper's trash? Incorrect. Pelipper busted. All right, Bolton outspeeds Inteleon. It's a 121, I think. So I think what we're going to do is just go for a, like, I want you to go away. And we're going to do it like this. Can you be successful in VGC if Pokemon Sword and Shield is the only Pokemon game you own? Oh, yeah. You don't need the other one. Like, you don't even need the other one. Like, the guy that knocked Wolf out of Dallas Regionals was someone that, like, only started playing VGC by watching Wolf. And they hit him with a tech that he showed off in one of his videos. And th that guy made top and Wolf didn't. All right. So, let's see. I didn't get my quick call, so that means that this was the correct play. But I can always get my quick call, like, next turn. And I think this still actually passes the uh, focus. When Politoom's back, it will be the return of the king. I mean, I think Pelipper's better. I think Pelipper's better. I've made a case for Pelipper being better today by using cool tech. Like, I think in the first game we used Pelipper, I got a flinch off my hurricane with my King's Rock. That was so dope. So he's probably gonna go for like a wild charge or even some sort of like electric attack in that slot. Spark, Lamau. Yeah, that's fine. We blocked those. The Warriors, thank you for the follow. Big G-Max G-Strike. I think I'm gonna actually outspeed that thing. Or just kill it, Lamau. I think I'm gonna outspeed it. I wanna see if he, what he's using with the Ferrothorn. It'd be funny as hell if he used Explosion. I could see it. Thunder Wave. No, don't Thunder Wave me. Thunder Wave Ferrothorn's actually super tech. You don't really see that very often. That's definitely the old tech coming back in. But we're gonna Quick Claw. Give me the big Quick Claw, yo. Don't you love to see Quick Claw? I do. I love to see Quick Claw. But yeah, you guys can always ask questions too. Like, I usually help a lot of people. There's the Quick Claw. That's what I'm talking about. It's about damn time. Let's go, Machamp. G-Max G-Strike. Yo, turn delayed. But so, let's just treat this as it was the first turn of the game. So, you know, let's just treat this like it was the first turn. So, the combo is it gives the immediate pump to our Inteleon, right? And then Inteleon's able to go for sniper-boosted, crazy aggressive moves. And we're going to outspeed this guy because the fact that he showed that he was, like, using that attack means he was probably, like, not timid. Or not jolly. Hype to see you live, yo. I'm definitely here. And we got the big crit that we didn't even need, but we would have one-shotted it. Your stream always numb my depression. Quality content, yo. That's the point. That's the point. You're not going to see this type of content anywhere else. So let's see what he has in the back. We got a big Machamp. And the thing is, it's like, I think, like I was talking about, Quick Claw is the item that can make miracles happen. Like, do you know how tilted he is right now? He's like... Quick Claw. Like, you can't play around a Quick Claw. You know, like, Quick Claw is the equivalent of when, like, Yugi fought Pegasus and they did that thing where they, like, one Yugi would look at a card, but then he wouldn't tell the other Yugi what the card was. And then, like, he, he took Mirror Force and he drew Mirror Force and he put it down and then the little Yugi didn't know it was Mirror Force and then Yugi's like, I activate my trap card without knowing what it was because you can't play around something that you can't see. You just can't. You just can't. Give me that Quick Claw proc. 
Not this time. But they can't play around that. It's like, should they even go after the Machamp? Or should they just ignore it? You can't ignore something that can always kind of pop off. Say, why am I just trolling on casual? Just testing the team out? Yo, it's because we play ranked seven days a week, 365. You do know that I make a new team every day or two. Sometimes I take two days. But like, uh, it's a lot of work, guys. And not every team is made to be number one on the ladder. It's dead. That thing's gone. Yep, look at that. Big damage with the crit sniper life orb. One shot G Max Sard. Dumb. Big dumb damage. And we're going to one shot this Lapras too. Thunder, go for it. That's going to miss. Yep. Didn't anyone ever tell you Thunder misses? Let me get this crit too. Oh, look at that big Machamp, yo. Yo, we've been taking those. Didn't get that crit, but we take that game. And that's a good game to show how this team actually works. It's a good game to go to show how this team actually works. We memeing on kids? No, oh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, we're just we're goofing around. We're using Quick Claw Machamp. Oh my gosh, it's a full Eevee team. All right, we're using Quick Claw Machamp with Inteleon. So we're going to activate our Quick Claw, go for a G-Max Strike, boost Inteleon's crit rate, and then one-shot someone. And I, oh, you're locked in? Yo, I'm going to lock in. Here we go. Big Machamp. Big Inteleon. I think Pelipper is still actually not bad here. Because um, you just want to set range. Sableye is also good, but I don't think I need it against the Eevee team. And uh, let's go. And if you bring your if you bring your freaking Jolteon, well, I don't want to bring my Raichu. You can just take the win. Because I want to do it just like this. I want to do it just like this. Guys, everyone go follow Eeks. Eeks just stopped by. One of the, the what is it? The most electrifying streamer in VGC Entertainment. Eeks TV. We're going to give him a shout out here. Bam. Give me a sec. Bam. This is a highlight matchup. Yo, that's it. That's right. All right. So, who are we more afraid of? It's the Leafeon, right? So, we're actually just going to nuke it. So, we're going to go for a Dynamax. <laughs> Cheese Strike. Yo, if I hit my, if I hit my Quick Claw here, we're, we're pretty pog, right? And I guess we could just Air Slash. So, we might be able to flinch it. Whatever. Who cares? Let me get it. Turn around and let me get it. Let's go. Let's go. Never lucky before we're going to get fucked. <laughs> no. He's going to get like a double KO chat. It's possible I'd speed that Leafy on Mover or not. My champ's pretty fast. But we didn't get the Quick Claw. We didn't get the Quick Claw chat. We've got like two Quick Claw procs in like the first hour. But it's okay. We're going to flinch the Leafy on and we're going to come back for round two. Or we're just going to crit it with our Air Slash. Protect. Air Slash. Flinch it. Crit it. End his life. Y'all yeah, take those. Is that a crit? Oh, didn't even need it. Yo, that's the power of life orb. That's why, that's why you don't use the other one. That's why you don't use the Scope Lens because it's bad. Yo, thank you for the host as well. Cheese strike, I'll take this. All right, don't don't KO my don't KO my Inteleon. Just uh, just like hyper beam my Machamp or some shit. You know, Machamp did its job. Just uh, just ignore Inteleon. Don't use hyper voice. Disarming voice. What even is that? <laughs> Yo, disarming voice. Yo, consider me disarm. And a shell bell. Oh, this guy's absolutely popping off. Yo, the shell bell. I've actually never really thought about ever using one of those. Doesn't it restore health based off the damage you deal? So if like, you one-shot something, you restore a significant amount? All right, it's time, chat. Are you guys ready? Let me think. I have no fake outers in the back, right? All right, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to outspeed this Jolteon. We're going to Chimax freaking end its life. I'm going to one-shot it with this. I'm going to Quick Claw. I'm going to proc it. I'm going to one-shot it. And I'm probably just going to outspeed it with my Inteleon. Quick Claw, come on. Come on, my champ. Never lucky. He's Dynamaxing. Oh, oh man, we're, we're a big sad time right now. I wonder how much damage will... Well, actually, I wonder how much damage a Jolteon takes from a crit. Who needs fake out with King's Rock Pelipper? No, King Pelipper has fake out, right? Obviously. We do outspeed with our Dreadnought here. But we'll see how this is going to go down. I don't think things are looking too hot for our hero right now. And we do outspeed. Give me that crit. Oh! Oh my gosh, look at that crit damage. <laughs> Yo, Jolteon? What Jolteon? I could have swore this guy had a Jolteon on the board. But you know what? Like, Timid... Timid beats not timid. I'll take that. Just get worked. Are right, you disarming voice round two? <laughs> oh man, this Eevee team. Bodied. Yo, we had to. You know we had to do it to him. Draining kiss. Yo, you earned it, Chief. Literally melted. Somebody had to do it to him. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of health. That's, that's pretty good. That thing got murdered. <laughs> no scope ones. Don't need it. Don't, who needs scope ones? Scope ones is a waste. What's your last one? What's your last little Eevee over there? 
Give me my quick claw proc. Do you think it'll give me my quick claw proc if I try to attack my own Inteleon? It would. I think the game would. He's thinking about it. Send out your last pathetic card you get. I think this is, we've got it off once though. We've got off the quick claw Inteleon combo once. And it was fun. You can't attack your own mom with the max. What? I didn't know you could. Alright. I'm going to hit that thing. I'm going I'm to crit it with my Machamp. I'm going to crit this uh, Sylveon first. Let's go. It's time. I feel so bad for Eevee guy. Oh, there it is. There's the Quick Claw. That's what I'm talking about. You see track twice already? Yeah. We got the value. I don't think you could be double pumped, though. Like, you can't pump, pump, pump it up. Did I not get a crit? Yo, is that never lucky? But I always use a bridge series quotes. Always. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so dirty. Oh, that's so good. So good. Captain plus one. It's plus two because pumped is a plus two. Yo, you go for that aqua ring, my guy. You do it. You do that aqua ring. It's fine. We got a quick clock rocked. You know, back after ladder. You how'd the ladder go, my guy? I promise you that this ladder is way more fun. All right, all right. Just, the, just the style. Just for style points. Just for style points. Let me get the encore on the aqua ring. Style. Never lucky. This guy's still trying. Oh, 100%, yo. And another crit, yo. <laughs> I just like one shot at all. So we one shot the Leafeon. We one shot at the Sylveon. We one shot at the Vaporeon. And we one shot at the, G the D Max Jolteon with all crits from Inteleon. Actually, we didn't crit the Leafeon, but like we're life orbed, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Butterfree. Triple starter. All right, it's time. Chat, chat, it's time. We are going to go with Quick Claw Machamp. We're going to activate our G Max Strike. It's going to pump up not only the Machamp, but our Sniper and Teleon, and we're going to one shot everything on that board. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Pelper? Yeah. Dreadnought? Yeah. Let's go. It's time. I'll make the rules. I do not make the rules. Sash Diggersby ruined your day. Yo, we've all been there. We've all been there. But I do think the Quick Claw Machamp is straight pog. I also, like I said, have Encore on this Machamp. I've yet to get a Quick Claw Encore to go for that, like, priority Encore. But I want it so bad. I want these Prankster Movers to stand aside and let the real, the real king of priority moves take his place on the throne. Yeah, thank you for the follow as well. Appreciate it. So let's go. Machamp Inteleon. Now, a lot of people think Machamp Inteleon is really good because the Inteleon sniper ability, but it sucks because, like, Machamp underspeeds the Inteleon. So I decided to make a way that a G Max Mon would still be able to outspeed our Inteleon. That's, the, that's where the Quick Clock comes in. That's where the Quick Clock comes in. I'm actually going to nuke this Butterfree. I mean, he can totally go, like, redirection. All right, hold on. Air Balloon? Let me, th let me actually think about this because, like, I can just Quick Claw Rock Slide. I can. I can quick claw rock slide. I can do it. I don't want to go put to sleep. Is he going to befuddle me or airstream? No, you know what? Like, I said I was going to do the combo. So I'm going to do the combo. I said, I know what I'm about. All right. I said it. I'll do it. Quick claw. Let's go. Crap baskets. <laughs> Maybe we'll just crit the butter free. Maybe he's not sashed. You can't redirect the snipe shot too, which is pretty nice. So if he goes for a follow me, he can't redirect the snipe shot. And it looks like we're maxing. It looks like he's not maxing with the uh, with the Butterfree. So that's good, I guess. Let's see if it's Scarf Butterfree. We might actually still outspeed a Scarf Butterfree if he's modest. So we'll see what you're going for, Chief. Follow me, go for it. You could only follow me one of them. Imagine if I got my crit proc here though. So like we'd be like getting a crit proc boost. Let's see what go. Let's see what happens here. Let's see who's actually respecting. Are you respecting my Inteleon or my Machamp? All right, that sucks. Sleep powder targeting. All right, Inteleon, that's fine. You ignore the real threat, the big Machamp. All right, so we're just gonna have to try and wake up. I think I'm gonna go for a protect next turn. Try and like wait for Inteleon to wake up for one turn. 
It's actually still significant damage. We do have the crit boost now. And so one really good thing about this set is that I can go for the Encore here as a max guard, which is pretty nice. Pretty good. Is that Lefty's Butterfree? Yo, he's like full HP Butterfree. Yeah, if, my crit, if I would have crit, we would have one-shotted it. So we're going to max guard here. And we're just going to try and, uh, you know, we can't even do anything in this, in this turn. It doesn't even matter. It does not matter. I want to see if he goes after my Machamp. I want to see if he goes after the Inteleon. At the very least, we can just bring in, like, Dreadnought and just go for big Rock Slides here and be in a really good spot. I want to do a little more damage to the Clefable, but, like, Rock Slide can finish off the Butterfree. And, yeah, we'll see. Big G-Max Machamp. Let's see if he's Moonblasting my Inteleon or just going for after the Machamp. Air Slash, block that up. That's right. Blocking it up. Moonblast, show it to me. Deagleam. All right, that's a, little, that's a little bit less safe for me. I think we'll be fine. Ow. He didn't sleep out of Air Slash. That's surprising. All right, so we're going to try and wake up with our Intellion. It's been our one turn sleep that we have to be asleep. Uh, we are going to go for... I don't really want to do any of those other ones. Like, I don't really need any more of these. That won't really KO the Clefable. This would just be, this would just be a waste. So it's better to actually Rock Ball, I think. Because it can actually... We have a crit, so like a crit, one of those would KO. Yeah, let's do it like this. I kind of want to just hit the Clefable. The Quick Claw's up! It's time! The Quick Claw is active. Ally Switch. Oh! Thank you! I. You know what? You're so nice. Yo, I love it when my opponents use Ally Switch because... I'm a champ. Let me get that, let me get that value. Let me get that, let me get that value. That's how you beat the ally switch, chat. Ally switched into absolutely dumpstered. Let me wake up with my Inteleon too. Wake up! Oh, wake up before you go, go. Got the Inteleon slam and snipe shots. Oh, no crit. Never lucky. Yeah, that Butterfree got dumpstered, chat. All right, so let me actually think about what I want to do here. My champ's pretty pog right now. He hasn't Dynamaxed anything yet, but, like, I have the Inteleon that's ready to, like, one-shot everything. I think my Machamp might actually outspeed that, uh, Clefable. We haven't actually had a chance to see. I think I one-shot Cinderace if the rain's up. So, I think... I think I'm actually gonna switch my Machamp out. Just because I want the rain. Because I want to guarantee one-shot. If he goes Protect with Cinderace and just tries to go for, like, a D-Gleam, I'll probably end up being Big Stab, then I'll just send out my Dread, and I'll be fine. I think I have to do it this way. Even he goes for ally switch, snipe shot always hits the correct target. So that's why it's super good. We have our crit boost. We're about to have the rain. Cinderace is undersped by our Inteleon. 120 beats 119. I guess he could be El Scarfo Cinderace. But yeah, Machamp, you can come back a little bit later. Sucks I'm losing my boosts. My crit boosts. But it's okay. So the big drizzle. Let's see what you're working with. Show me that Dynamax. Oh, show me, show me a good time. Yo, you're gonna need a max guard right now. You're gonna need it. Yo, thank you for the follow. Sub quiet. Yo, snipe shot goes through out switch. Yes, it can't be redirected. It's unaffected by redirection. So this Cinderace is gonna be big sad unless he has like a Pasho Berry. <laughs> like, I'm gonna crit and it's gonna be like, I only lost because of crit. And it's like, I don't know about that one. Like, we be taking those. No crit, see? No crit, still one-shotted. That's the power of the life orb. The power of the rain. The power of Cinderace ain't got nothing on me. You can go for that D-Gleam all you want, Chief. All you want. Yo, that's totally your D-Gleam. That's totally your D-Gleam. So we should bring my champ back out. No, I think... Ugh, I'm just gonna bring Dreadnought out. Dreadnought's so good. Yeah, the Swift Swim's already up. Like, Pelipper's ready, willing, and able to go. And because we don't have Sash on Pelipper, we don't have to really worry about switching in there. T-Tar. Dreadnought was the right choice. Oh, um, Machamp would have been good too, though. Let me think about what I really want to do. I will tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I will fling this slot. So if he does ally switch, he's ally switching his T-Tar into a fling, or he's just That's getting right. flinged. And then I'll go for the biggest liquidate you've ever seen in your life. Do I need to buy the expansion pass to be competitive? It makes it so you can... uh. Go play the new expansion pass, play all the story mode, and catch all those new Pokemon. But you can technically just ask people for them Pokemon and get, like, trades. You can still you can still get all the Pokemon, but you can't go catch them. So, like, you, the Pokedex update is free. You don't technically need to get the DLC. 
That's the second one-shot D-Max Cinderace. Yeah. Cinderace isn't carrying protect anymore. Yep, that's that's the play. Follow me. Go for it. I'm going to probably one-shot this thing with my Dreadnought. I think Dreadnought's faster, right? Oh, I'm an idiot. Uh-oh. I thought my Dreadnought would be faster. Well, it's fine. Get flung. Get wrecked. I didn't, I'm, I'm actually happy with this, though, that like, I didn't use Hydro Pump because, like, it would be redirected into the T-Tar. Follow me and Ally Switch, go Fable. Follow me and Ally Switch. Let's see what he's going for. You got that big EQ? Rock Slide. That ain't going to do it. That ain't going to do it. Like, you can kill my Pelver, but it's going to be okay. Time for Landris to dominate. I mean, Landris, Crocodile's coming back. You ready for a champ to end this man's career? I want that Quick Claw end his career. Give me that. Give me the Quick Claw. Give me, give me the quick claw. Give me it. Give me, give me, give me, give me. End of this man, my champ. Quick claw. Never lucky. It's okay. We still have to be the T-Tar even if this doesn't KO. Right, he's going to get a policy proc, and then my Machamp's going to come in from downtown, finish him off. If my Dreadnought's outspeeding, uh, Machamp should still outspeed. Let's go. Crash chop. Ah. Oh. Now, normally T-Tar would outspeed Machamp, but our Machamp has speed investment. Just enough. Uh, normally, T-Tar is a base 61 speed, Machamp's 55. We have about 100 points in speed in our Machamp, so we speed creep even, like, significantly faster T-Tars. Let's go. Gloria, ranked 534 in the world. Sun, Whimsicott, again. Hmm. I think I'm just lead Sableye. And you're like, that's a don't lead Sableye. He has Whimsicott. And it's like, we'll see if that's good or bad. Because I can just go uh, Rain Dance, like a hard Rain Dance. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, Gujra's a little bit hard to deal with here. Let me think about it. I can also get a, try and get away with the Machamp play. Yeah, I think I might actually lead the Machamp and see if this works. We're going to try the Machamp and Teleon combo. If it works, that's awesome. If it's not, I need an adult. Let's go. You say, why'd he do that? He knew I was weakness policy. The last guy? Yeah, he did frisk me, didn't he? That's okay. We're going to get this big win here with Quick Claw Machamp. Like, Quick Claw Machamp? It's going to yeah, be so right. good. You guys ready for this? Thank you for the follow as well. Really do appreciate it. Hmm. Let's see it. I, I don't want to deal with that thing. I think I'm gonna max darkness. The in do actually let me think about how I wanna handle this. His psychic seeds. I think I wanna just hit that thing with my Machamp with a max darkness and then next turn go for the all in play. So it's like you wanna just go for the really big darkness here. It should still KO. And you just go for a big protect. I wanna see what he does with a Gudra. I think you wanna res I think Gudra respects Inteleon. Does Psychic Surge stop Quick Claw? No, it doesn't. It's a good question. Because it, it makes Quick Claw doesn't give you a plus one priority. It makes you go first in your priority bracket, which is different. I don't, if he's not ignoring my Inteleon, I'm so sad. He should just be going with like a Wormwind or like an Overgrowth or a Sludge or like a Poison Attack in my Inteleon because they would still KO. But we'll see. Uh, we have some good Pokemon here. And the fact that he's maxing his Gucci means he's probably not bringing Zard. And like we can, if we take out the Inity, if he wants to bring out like extra or something like that, we can be in a really good spot. Let's see. I think we still care this Inity. And the most important thing is that we're layering up a special D drop onto the Gudra. I think that's the most important reason why we're doing this. So let's see what you're doing for. Follow me. Love to see it. Yeah, you don't really need to get the cheese strike anytime soon. As long as you go like the fadeaway cheese strike, we'll be good to go. Wormwind into the Machamp. He ignored my Inteleon, I think. Nope, he respected it. Awesome. That's the correct play. Great. You love to see good players. You will love to see them. Attack drop on the Machamp. Is AV the best item of Gudra? Uh, it's the most popular item. I wouldn't say it's the best. There is no real best. Gudra can do a lot of stuff. Smoke KO now. Yeah, the attack drop's pretty significant there, but we can quick call to it. Snipe shot will actually probably care that entity now actually is it neutral is there a situation where this goes all south dark pulse is stronger special d neutral that's enough to ko there especially let me let me get my freaking there it is quick claw we did it we did the combo let's go 
Cheese strike, powering up our boy Inteleon. Don't you don't you just love it? Don't you just love it? That's right. Machamp's getting pumped. Inteleon's getting pumped. Quick claws are up right now, and this will KO the entity now. Yeah, buddy. You know, is there a crit though? No crit. It's still what a KO. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we're gonna try our best to not proc that Gudra policy. You can totally kill my Inteleon here. You can totally do it. Max Ooze, does that kill my Inteleon? Am I gonna get KO'd? 7 HP? You have disrespected my authority. Like a you have disrespected. Oh, and now you're like, I don't even he's guy doesn't even know how to play around the machamp. Whimsicott? Yo. Don't get messed up by a quick claw, Chief. Don't get messed up by quick claw. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. We're actually gonna rock fall the Whimsicott slot. And I think we're actually gonna try and air slash that slot too. He's gonna go for like a fadeaway tailwind, but like I think we'll be okay. He can't stop both of us. Tailwind, that's fine. I didn't get a quick lock proc. Uh Who's he hitting though? So you can hit them a champ and hope that Inteland ticks out. Yeah, that's fine. It's not gonna do a ton a ton. Usual and gap stops Whimsicott's prankster? Yes, it does. All right, so this Whimsicott is gonna 100% go down. Like we nuked it, I think. Delete you. I hope it's actually like not sashed. Ah, uh, uh, let's see who I actually hit. Did I hit the right target? No, I am actually super fine hitting that Whimsicott with this, like the nuke into the Whimsicott, because I didn't know if, who, if he was gonna go after the Inteleon and Tailwind. And then like this would've been able to at minus two, like still deal with it. The fact that we still have our Machamp and Machamp can always quick claw is like super pog here. So if like, he sends out Zard, I can just quick claw rock slide him, you know, quick claw rock ball him. Cause I also have a percent chance to crit too. I have crit chance. I got quick claw chance. Like my Machamp is actually like big, not terrible energy right now. And the fact that we set the sand makes it so our, uh, what is it? Our, our boy Dreadnought is actually really nice. Dreadnought's nice right now. Got that big special D. OMG, Zard. Yeah, go for it. Yo, you're about to get rocked by my Machamp. I know it. I can feel the Quick Claw. Chat, I can feel the Quick Claw coursing through me right now. I can feel it. You guys ready for this? Are you guys ready? Who's ready? Machamp's ready. Give me that big rock slide. I'm gonna flinch your Gudra too. And I can't miss. He, you know what they say? They say he don't miss. That's Machamp. Dreadnought might miss. I'm gonna try though. Here we go. Survey says. Never lucky. Hurricane. Oh, OMG. That's bad. He, al he also don't miss when they hit him either. <laughs> so no quick call. Never lucky. It's okay. We're gonna kill this art. He's orbed. Uh, Gucci is probably not gonna be able to KO me yet. Thunderbolt's just gonna proc a policy chief. That's the power of the sand boosting my rock type's special defense. Don't you just love to see it? Policies up, boys and girls. Rock slides coming in from downtown. We take those. Don't even act like we don't take them. Because we take those all the way to the bank. It's almost like it's almost like I set the sand knowing that I was going to bring my Dreadnought out. And those two have really good synergy. Rank 500 in the world? Not today. Not today you're not. Psychic Train's going to make it really hard. I think I just want to go screens. So, like, I think I want to go Raichu with screens this game. Yeah, I'm going to go Raichu and Teleon. We got to go Pelipper because, of course, big Pelipper energy. You love to see the big Pelipper. Mantine sucks? Incorrect. Mantine's really good. I've used a lot of Mantine over the years. No, Mantine's good. Have you guys not seen the Mantine videos I did in 2018? Mantine's like super good. Gets Icy Wind, gets Roost, gets Wide Guard, gets Scald. Now we'll see. We don't know that, th that Pokemon's base stats. For Shifa, we don't know its base stats. Yeah, Mantine's totally usable. You know Mantine and Skarmory are the same Pokemon just flipped? So like Skarmory has big defense, low specialty. Man Mantine has big specialty, low defense. They're the same Pokemon. They're just flipped. Yeah, VDC 2018 Mantine. Pokemon's good. He has redirection there, but I, I think just setting screens is going to give me, like, a lot of value. Where do you get Flame Orb? You have to get it at the, uh, what is it? Yeah, you get it from the ball guy, right? All right, let's go. Oh, 
Yeah, it used to be that only Mantite got Roost, but they gave it to Mantine in Gen 6, I think. All right, so I can't fake out. I can just set a screen. I think I'm just going to... Oh, man, this is going to be really good. This is going to be freaking amazing. It's just a wet Skarmory. That's right. So we're going to set a Rock Slide. Not Rock Slide. Oh, we're going to set a uh, Reflect. He's going to like, I will use Follow Me. And I'm like, okay. It would really suck if he maxed that Exodrill, but we're just going to crit him when he maxes. So, you guys ready? He's going to use Follow Me and Dynamax. I'm going to crit him and one-shot him. We're going to absolutely end this man's career. So, because Tailwind is an egg move. Oh, you actually didn't use Follow Me. I mean, it's it's good if, like, I didn't use Snipe Shot, which is, like, the best move in the game. So, like, ugh. I'm sure you're sashed. Oh, okay. Delete! And the crit! He might have been, uh, might have been vested. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Say that's vested. Give me that big crit, though. Crit? Life Orb is so greedy. So greedy. How do you think Scrum will affect the meta if it's in? It's only going to be usable in singles. It's not really that good in VGC. The only person who's ever done decent with Scrummery is Peppin. I think that's his name. And he's done some... Scrummery, like, used to be okay with, like, Tailwind and, like, Faint. But, like, Faint's not good anymore. So, it's like, that was one of Scrummery's, like, biggest things. All right. It's time for... I mean, I might as well just pop a, a Volt Switch here. Don't really reason the light screen. I think we're just going to nuke the Entity slot and Air Street. I, I think Darkness would one-shot it. Put a special gear up on the Gyarados. It might have just one shot on my Raichu Volt Switch into the Gyarados. That'd be pretty pog. Uh, I should have been Volt Switching the Gyarados slot if I wasn't already, but it's okay. You'll see. A, the fact that it's a Psychic move that can freeze is actually bad because it means like you can't hit Dark types with it. Like, T-Tar is going to absolutely work. T-Tar is going to work that Articuno. Like, it's going to work it. Let's see what happens here. He's probably just following me anyways. So. Oh, I, why a Life Orb over Scope Lens? Because I want to be useful if I don't have my crits. And if you do crit a Life Orb boosted one, like, it gives you so many more damage rolls that you wouldn't normally get. Like, that would not have normally KO'd if that was, like, a super bulky best set. But the Life Orb crit does. Life Orb is more consistent damage. And it's a higher roll. It's maximum greed. There's the follow me. It's awesome. Let's go. Darkness. Okay. That's fair. But special D drop. Pretty nice. I want to see if he's airstreaming me. Maybe I should have airstreamed. But the special drop's really significant there. Bolt switch is doing better than nothing. That doesn't do shit. <laughs> Okay. All right. We want to come in with Pelipper. Yeah. Get him, Pelipper. Pelipper, save the day. Big drizzle. I don't think he's going for a Max Geyser into that. I mean, he could Max Geyser my Pelipper. Max Quake. Oh! I was going to talk about that, but I was like, hey, there's no way. <laughs> Yo. I'm going to pop a Tailwind just so I can actually get away with putting up a second specialty drop. And I'm going to go for a Max Darkness. And then we're going to one-shot him. With probably, like, just something stupid. Yeah, Cinderace Libero is pretty good in singles. Yeah, helping hand. Go for it, Chi. Go for it. I wonder how much damage Max Quake does to my Inteleon at plus one. Yo, Pelipper. Like, Polito wouldn't have mitigated that damage, but Pelipper does. All right, Gyarados. Can you one-shot me? You're going to power up me? All right, she's ready for you, Chi. Max overgrowth, yep, awesome. Let me think about how I want to handle this. I think Raichu one shots at minus two, so I think I'm just gonna send that Raichu in. That was through a reflect, by the way. Okay, crit. I was gonna be like, I might not die because <laughs> I had a reflect up. But yo, he's like, you are you gonna be the sniper? I I will be sniper. Uh, Raichu's probably the right play here. Yeah, I think Raichu's pretty good. Moxie boosted. Tailwind. Love Pelipper. Don't need to bring the Dreadnought out yet. Don't really need to bring it out yet. Because like I don't want to bring out the, the Dreadnought and just miss a Rock Slide. Rock Slide also wouldn't KO. He has two special D-drops on that Gyarados. How's it going? Oh my goodness. That's so value. Alright, you guys ready to flinch the Koakus? Oh, he's just going to use... um. 
You're just gonna use follow me, right? I think this is actually a better play. So we're gonna get the Hurricane on the Gyarados. So we're gonna fake out to stop the follow me. You're gonna see he's gonna flinch right here, right? Flinch right there, so he's trying to follow me. We're gonna get a free Hurricane into the Gyarados. He has minus two special D, so this is his last turn max. Oh, and we got the Confused, but what this really does is it makes it so um, our Dreadnought can just come out and go for a Rock Slide here. And he hit himself. That's so value. So value. Oh, uh, Aftermath Grand Blue Fantasies. Yo, BB Tag, if I want. Yo, where? Is it like an online tournament? That's super. Yo, good luck. Good luck. Oh, I want to do Hydro Pump. I'm going to Hydro Pump. Hydro. Big damage. Top five clips of you blowing up a Melmetal with non Ubers. Yo, that's the real play. All right, so the big issue here is I'm Volt Switching, which means, uh, is that policy? All right. We Pelipper! Country Roads Pelipper, take me home! He's gonna, like, one-shot me. Yeah, follow me doesn't. Follow me is a plus two, so you can always fake out it. Now, let's see. We're gonna take damage from this Earthquake. Wait, it, all right, hit. There we go, Pelipper. In the rain! Let me flinch it with this Pelipper, King's Rock. Or we just KO. I'll take it. Give me the crit. Pel I've been saying it the whole time, man. Pelipper is so good. It is so good. Snap out of confusion? Like I care. Earthquake? Policy proc. Oh, value. I'll take that big policy proc. You also set the grassy terrain for me, my chief. You set that. Like, that's what you wanted. I still have one more turn of my, uh, amazing... I still have one more turn of my amazing rain, right? Don't you, just, don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Don't you just love it? T last turn of rain? Last turn of tail when last turn of rain? That's Pog. So, he's probably going to protect if he has it. No reason to go for the fling. Rock slide! He's probably just going to protect if he has it this turn. Yep, battle's canceled. We take the wins! Give me the value. Give me the value. Machamp battle? You know I gotta do it, chat. Like, you know I gotta Machamp battle this, man. Machamp battle. Golduck's my favorite, uh, like, Swift Swimmer. Not Swift Yeah, Golduck's my favorite Swift Swimmer, I would say. Like, me and Golduck, we've been through a lot. And Golduck has decent stats, so it's, like, not terrible Pokemon. But let's go. See. Yeah, Golduck having Encore in 2017 was really nice for it. Because it was like a Swift Swim boosted Encore too, so it was like really, really fast. Do you have Golduck content on YouTube? Yes! I have like, like I said, dozens upon dozens, like probably like 40 or 50 Golduck videos. Alright, you guys ready for this? How's it gonna go down? Are we gonna get our Quick Claw proc? I could just Rock Slide flinch that thing. I'm gonna do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I gotta do it to him, chat. Chat, I gotta do it. It's not gonna work. If I get the quick caught proc... I think you actually just snipe shot the Togekiss still. <laughs> My Togekiss is still a problem. Oh, we didn't get the quick caught proc, chat. Never lucky. Never lucky. It's okay. If he doesn't kill her until I'm, we're good. Yeah, I used double ducks, like, all year. As well as everyone else did. It was meta-defining in 2017. And Rain was the best weather in 2017. You'd go to a regional, and half of your games would be against Golduck Pelipper. Back in the day. Protect. Never lucky. Hey, you know what? He's not even using the follow me move. Can I just crit this then? Uh-oh. Watching VGC makes me feel what most people probably feel from football games. Never been into watching sports. I mean, this is that's the play. Don't kill me. All right, cool. We live in, boys. Yo. G Max, G Strike, destroy, credit. I did do shit, chat. Never looked. All right, so our talent has a boost right now. All right, so I'm looking at it like this. He's not gonna follow me, and I'm a champ now. Has the boost. I'm gonna go for the Chi Strike, and I'm gonna get my Quick Claw proc, and so I'm gonna hit that, and then he's gonna try and go for the D Gleam. Tokus is gonna be able to get crit by my Inteleon. Watch, Quick Claw, do it, do the Quick Claw. 
do the quick claw, do 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 quick claw, do 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 quick claw. Never lucky. Snipe shot. Right. As long as we crit here, actually, we'll still probably KO it. We'll see. Okay, we take it. Crit. Oh, value. Ah, oh, sniper. Yeah, Willico was good, but like Willico wasn't as good at the start of the season. And let's see what he's going after. You hit my Machamp? That's that's. You're ignoring the correct target, I think. You are leaving up the Inteleon with the value. He hasn't Dynamax, though. Yeah, Le Lele Blim wasn't there at the start of the format, though. Like, Le you're, it's, oh, it's actually safe to say that, like, Lele Blim and Lily Colt existed because of, like, that kind of content. You know what I mean? It's safe to say that it existed because of it. Like, because of Rain. There's the Cramorant. What do you even do? I wonder if I can just one-shot the Dracovish with, like, a Dark Pulse. I don't know how fast that thing is, but I'm gonna try and fling it. Let's go! Let's go! How fast is Cramorant, guys? It's like 65? Dark Pulse? Let's go! Give me those big crits! That's what I'm talking about, yo. Is that not even a crit? That's just the power of Life Orb, chat. Life Orb! Never leave home without it. Give me that big crit. Give me the big fling. Oh, value! Sash? Never heard of it. Get flinched. Get flinched. Trying to dive in my house. Not today. Not today. Pelipper doesn't stand for that. I will show you who is the superior duck thing. Sanaconda. I'ma kill it. I'ma I'ma kill it. Is it gonna get one shotted? He's gonna max it and still get one shotted. Crayman's base 85. Not today, it's not. Pelipper's too fast. I'm a one-shot that thing. It's raining. I'm pumped up from the G-Max strike. I got a life orb. I'm stabbing my snipe shot. You better max guard, Chief. Oh my gosh, you're so gone. Dill yeeted. Give me the big crit, yo. Sand spit. Yo, you earned it. Oh no, I can miss my hurricane. My hair is awesome. I agree. All right, it's cool. It's cool. Pelipper, just show him who's boss. Pelipper, just show him who's boss right now. It's okay, Pelipper. End this man's career. Never lucky, Pelipper. Hurricane. No, oh, come on. What is that? I missed my hurricane. You hit your hurricane. Can I get a? Can I get a run back? Can I get a? Can I get a little bit of never lucky there? Right. That's never lucky, right? Literally missed my hurricane and them hitting their hurricane. SMH. SMH. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Let's see if this guy has his dancing shoes on right now. Hurricane? That's right, yo. Get out of here. Give me a confuse. I earned it. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't even I don't even want it, but I earned it. Give me it. Rock slide. Dice Mr. Rock Slide. Come on, game! What is this? What is this RNG? What is this RNG? Thrash, yo, this guy's so angry. Thrash Cramorant, yo. What do you think of Sandrush Drake Assault? It's gonna be good. It will be it will be poggers. I just wanna do this because I wanna exert dominance with my Pelipper. Pelipper! End him. That's right. Big Pelipper energy. Yep. I'll take it. We take. Thrash Pog. That's right. <laughs> Thrash Unreal. This guy's team has Thievial and Rillaboom. He knows exactly what's up. The guy's name is Dan the Man. I'm ready. I'm gonna one-shot this Rillaboom with my Inteleon. Let's go. Machamp, Quick Claw, Cheat Strike, Inteleon, Poggers. Yep. I'm ready. I think he's gonna go Baton Pass into the freaking Corviknight. I'm ready. G Max Machamp's uh, Chi Strike increases Inteleon's crit ratio and then it just slams in those sniper boosted crit moves. And everyone's like, you need to run the scope lens. I think Life Orb's a little bit better. It's a little bit more consistent. And it makes so when you crit with a Life Orb, you can KO things that you don't need super effective attacks to KO. It makes so I don't have to run like Hydro Vortexes. It makes so like I can just get away with using Snipe Shot in that situation. Because like a Snipe Shot 80 base power is almost significant. It's, it's close enough to the. What is it? It's close enough to the. Vortex or Hydro Pump range because it's a 1.3 boost on an 80 base power move. So it gets it close enough. 
We'll see what he's going with, though. Let's go. It's time. What do you guys think he's going to leave with? Do you think he's going to go with Thievil? I'm going to crit the Thievil, one-shot it, and then I'm going to one-shot the Rillaboom with a crit air slash. You guys ready? So we're going to... If he leads Thievil, Rillaboom, right? If he leads Thievil, Rillaboom... Okay, he leads uh, Toxtricity. Okay. I don't want to deal with any of those. Let me think about this. I think I'm actually going to max darkness the Toxtricity and just go for a Protect this turn. And then next turn, I'll go for the big nuke. The max darkness is going to be... Oh, fuck. All right, well, we're fine. Corviknight, that's fine. Lowering the Rillaboom special uh, defense is really important here. We get to see a lot of different stuff. I agree. I agree. You're not going to see this type of constant anywhere else. We didn't get our quick clock proc either. Never lucky. I want to see who he's fake outing or if he's just going for a big wood hammer. Note that he's also not grassy surge. I just realized that. That's fine. Not everyone has the G Max starter, or sorry, the hidden ability starters yet. Protect Inteleon. Yeah, I don't want to just die. Let's see if he's fake outing my Machamp. Drum beating. Okay. Is this a modest nature? No, you have to be timid right now because that's the only way to outspeed Cinderace. So you have to be timid. All right, so we didn't get our crit boost, but we did lower the special defense on the Inteleon. Sorry, on the Rillaboom, which is the main reason why we did it. And we also lowered it on the Corviknight, so he's not Mirror Armor. That's awesome. So we're going to go for a G-Max Chi-Strike. If we get our Quick Claw off, it's going to make it so the Inteleon also has the boost. Do you understand how amazing this is going to be if we got a Quick Claw proc? Never lucky. It's okay. I think we don't need it. I want to see if he's maxing the Rillaboom, though. We'll see. Max and Corviknight. Okay. Uh, I think if he wants to airstream, like, I think we're still okay. Even if Cinderace not max airstream, what are you talking about? Anyways, we're gonna be fine. Air slash, don't miss. Oh, we just lost the game. Oh, that sucks. That's gonna lose me the game. Yep, that's really bad. That air slash miss definitely cost me the game, I think. Ow. Ow, ow. And he crit me. Okay. Fair and balanced gameplay. This is not just a slap in the face. Chi strike. We, looks like we outspeed there, so that's okay. But like, still, very, very not great. Because we had a special D drop on the Rillaboom. That's like super important that he had a special D drop. So a citrus berry. Yeah, we'll see if he's air streaming or like going for like a defense boost. He's probably just air streaming. Yeah, there's the air stream. Um, it, it has to be Pelipper coming out, but it's still really bad. Yeah, let's go. You're saying you need Cinderace to use max airstream, but like you can't you don't just come pre-built with max airstream. You have to actually use it until it'll one shot you before you get it off. Yeah, we gotta do it just like this, I think. I think you actually might want to max guard for like one turn. Go for the hurricane in there. If we can wait out his max, uh, I think that we can be in a pretty decent spot. I think he's gonna go after my Yeah, I think he's gonna go after this guy. Drum beating, block it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's pretty obvious he was tunneling there. Yep. Give me your free KO. I could have tailwinded there. I don't think it's the play. I just want this guy off the board. Because I don't really need the tailwind. I'd rather just get the Rillaboom off the board and speed up waiting out his Dynamax. All right, so Airstream won't KO my Machamp. I don't think. I don't think it'll KO me. And I can still get a Quick Claw proc. There's the Tox. All right. So we want to go for... Let me think about what I actually want to go for here. Rock Slide could flinch the Toxtricity. I think I'm just going to go for the Crit Knockoff. That's not the play. Ah, are we going to lose? Let me think. Do we need to flinch? Do we need like a Quick Claw flinch right now? Otherwise, we'll just like get dumpstered. I think we actually need like a Quick Claw flinch on the tox and then like a hydro pump into it yeah you say fling tox he's he's gonna get an airstream up guys so he's gonna be airstreaming i'm a champ you didn't get it off 
So that means Tox is gonna be able to outspeed. Yeah. Tox so she's not faster than my Pelipper. So we needed to get like the flinch off the quick claw. Yeah, the, the air what is it? The air slash miss is just what costs us the game. You miss an air slash every once in a while. It's 95. Oh, uh, there's still a chance that I win. His Corviknight's at plus two, but like I can take out this Toxtricity and there's not that much that Corviknight can actually do to a, uh, what is it, a Dreadnought? His Corviknight, his, what is it, his Toxtricity's a plus one. I think we can actually one-shot it with, uh, I think we can one-shot it with a Liquidate, maybe? I don't think you want to Rock Slide yet. I think you just want to go for the Liquidate. It's boosted by the rain. Now yeah, we'll see if we can one-shot it. Protect Tox, like, Tailwind would be so pog right now. I think we actually still have to be the Corviknight, too. So, like, I think we're going to try to one-shot the Tox, and then try and one-shot the Corviknight. Awesome. Delete that! And let's see what he's using here. Steel Wing! Yo, not today. Not today, you're not. No de Oh, we got the defense boost! That's so lame! Oh, that sucks! That's really bad! Fucking Steel Wing, though! He still had a Grim Snarl. Oh my gosh, we're gonna lose. I think that's gonna lose us the game. The, the Steel Wing defense boost. Like, I have to go for the Liquidate here and it won't KO. And he's probably just gonna go like Fake Outs and Thunder Waves and all that shit. Oh well. Oh, Liquidate. Okay. Oh, is he just using the Foul Play? Do you see like he would have potentially been KO'd there? The second Steel Wing. They can miss too, you know. Are you just using Foul Play? Hammer Arm. Yo, Policy Proc? Don't kill me. Oh, I'm at three. Okay, chat. We got shots right now. Chat. Are you ready? I've got shots. You guys ready? You guys big ready? That's I'm ready. Right. That's right. Okay, it's time. Flinch the Grim. KO the Corviknight. And we will win. Sucker punch me, Grim. Please just sucker punch me. Put me out of my misery. Show me that you got the correct plays. I would love to see myself get flinched by... Or hit by a sucker punch. By an ex... A good player. Rock slide. Come on. Give me those flinches then if you're going to sucker punch me. Yo, let's freaking go. <laughs> oh, crit the Grim. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Yo, thanks for that hammer arm, Chief. Definitely mucho appreciado. That was such a good comeback victory. Dan the man. Appreciate the game, my friend.